So the border has been crossed. I'm in Fermanagh. I'm after leaving Belcoo off the road. And I'm followed by these two lunatics. Up your boy! Up. <laughs> They're gonna be keeping me company for today. So this is Brian, he's been kind of like my guru, I'm a teacher, so if I'm producing bad film it's his fault, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at big stuff. Big stuff. Tati Tat the tattoo artist. Tati the tattoo artist. <laughs> So it's the second day, next day, and we've got another guy. Hi! <laughs> remember him? You may remember him from such from such videos as <laughs> Yeah, Paddy joined us today. Um, we got a bit sidetracked, so uh, we didn't make the point we we're supposed to make. We had to start walking back to Dear Gormley. And uh, luckily enough there was somebody to collect us. Uh, somebody collect us, kind person, Mary, thank you so much and dropped us to the village, so we're getting to Belik today, and we've got the crew. So we ended up taking the wrong turn, yeah. and we ended up coming through a uh, woods, but uh, we met a really, really lovely fella, and um, he, uh, he'd give us directions through the woods, so I'm in a bit of a wood stroll, it's a bit off track, but hey, listen, it's all part of the adventure, eh? So we're sitting in the woods, taking a little bit of a break. <laughs> With the light on your back, like a train in the night. Introducing Brian Durkin's amazing jazz beat. There's one really, really good thing I like about the Ulster Way, and that's these. There's plenty of space off the road so far for you to walk in the grass. And it's so much easier on the feet, it's fantastic. So the last section of the big dog way takes you on a busy windy road so just be really careful on your way to Belik. So Belik, we made it and uh, happy enough with that, two, two, two hard days of slog, done, eight day in a row, it's going to be nine tomorrow uh, when I try to get to Petrigo in the uh, in the lake way. Don't forget Peanut. She did it two, two days, yay! <laughs> day, I can't even remember what day it is now to be honest with you. I'm fairly tired. Um, it's probably my eighth day in a row, ninth day, sorry, in a row walking today. And I am making my way to Pedigo from Belique. Um, this part of the this part of the Ireland way is actually, and this part of the Ireland way and the Ulster way is actually a link section. <laughs> So, um, not suitable for walking, but um, 
it is possible to walk it along country lanes. And If you do decide to walk this section, the only signposts really you're going to see are the ones behind my head here. Uh, this is a cycle route, re predominantly, and uh, if you're looking for signposts, they're the only ones you're going to see. With Amor being there yesterday in the big dog way and uh, I've got an invite tomorrow for my first rest day in nine days with Louise's family and um, it's Louise's uh, birthday mass. As you know it's kind of put me in a very 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 reflective mood and um, thinking a lot about things like that just you know how precious this amazing thing of a life that we have is I just got best was being out here just kind of you get kind of the real sense of the beauty of the landscape and I suppose it just gets you deeply thinking and how much appreciation really we should have for it and this life gets in the way and all that sort of stuff which is fair enough, but, you know, we do really have to take more time and see what is really important in life, you know. <laughs> 